So that the tops of the teddy bear's ears are nice and round, the pattern uses short rows. And in this tutorial, I will be explaining how to knit the short rows and also how to make up the ears for a nice, neat finish. You now join me on row 14 of the teddy bear's ears, which begins with purl 1, SSP, purl 4. So I shall just do that. So, purl 1, SSP, Pearl four, two, three, four. And then you need to take the stitch on the left hand needle onto the right hand needle, take the yarn back, then slip the stitch back onto the left hand needle, bring the yarn forward and turn the work like so. Then you need to knit three. And then take the stitch onto the left hand from the left hand needle onto the right hand needle, bring the yarn forward, slip the stitch back onto the left hand needle, take the yarn back, once again turn the work, and then you need to knit four. One two, purl four I should say, one, two, three, and then on the fourth purl stitch you need to purl the stitch and the bar which has been wrapped together for a neat finish. So you purl the stitch and the bar together like so. And then the pattern says to purl two and then purl the final stitch. So purl two, purl one like so. Then you need to, on row 15, join yarn B. And then you need to knit two, so you simply pick up yarn B, like so, knit two stitches together, and then SSK like so, knit one, and at this point you need to try and knit two together but also try and incorporate the wrap stitch once again for a neat finish. So what I tend to do is pick up the wrap stitch, then pick up the two stitches that you're going to knit together like so, so you have the wrap stitch and then the two stitches to be knitted together and then you just take the yarn through all three stitches. Now this can be a little bit difficult so what I tend to do is firstly pull the yarn through the two stitches like so, take that off the needle and then bring the wrap stitch over the top as well and that just gives a very very neat finish to the top of the ears. And then the final two stitches you need to SSK like so. Just pull the yarn tight just to even out the tension. Then the next row is a purl row. Once again, I do like to knit quite tightly as it helps to create a neat finish. So once again, I'm just going to pull the yarns to even out the tension like so. And then the next row asks you to knit one, make one four times. So when you pick up the bar in between the two stitches to make one. So knit one, make one, knit one, make one, knit one, <laughs> make one, 
knit one, make one. And at this point, you should have nine stitches. And the rest of the pattern for the teddy bear's ears should be quite straightforward. I have finished knitting the ears and now we need to make them up. So the first thing I'm going to do is just to weave in these yarn ends where we joined the two colours together. So firstly, I shall thread a needle with yarn B like so and I'll just weave this end through some of the stitches on the reverse like so just to secure the yarn and then I shall do the same on the other side with yarn A once again thread the needle and weave it through some of the stitches on the reverse just to secure the yarn like so. Then it's just a case of trimming off the excess on both sides. Now the next thing we need to do is to join the side seams. So, using the cast on tail of yarn A, once again thread your needle and I like to use the shortcut mattress stitch when sewing seams because it does give quite an invisible finish so take in um, the yarn I shall put it through the first loop here which is just above the cast on knot so, or cast off knot I should say um, so I just go through the first loop like so under the knot and back up through the other loop like so take that through and then on the other side then I go into the loop on the other side like so under the knot and back up through the other loop. Then I go back into the stitch on this side that I have just come out of. So once again into the same loop, under the knot, out through the loop and on the other side once again I go back into the same loop under the knot like so and back through there and you continue to do that all the way up the sides of the ears so back into the same loop under the knot out through there And then at this point I just give it a bit of a pull just to pull it together and then continue. So as you can see it's quite a neat finish there on the seam. So back in, at this point it can get a little bit tricky so I just open the ear up a little bit like so, so I can see where I need to go back into. So into the loop and through, under the knot, back into this side. and under here, like so, and then this is where it gets a little bit trickier to keep it neat, especially when joining the two colours. So you just need to take a little bit of time on this bit. So I just go back under the into the loop, under the knot, bring it back through, and then just pull it tightly to see how we're getting on and just give it a little bit of a tug. And then that's looking quite good there. So then at this point I shall just take this yarn back in there and bring it through to the other side like so. And then it's just a case of joining this side seam 
So once again, going into there using the shortcut mattress stitch just to finish off the next seam all the way along. I have now finished sewing the seams and as you can see the shortcut mattress stitch does give quite a neat finish and also row 14 with the short rows does help to create a nice curve at the top of the ear. All it needs now is to be sewn onto the teddy bear's head. <laughs>